We recently had a celebration for National Latino AIDS Awareness Day at the Metropolitan Community Church, and it was a success. It's a small venue, but we had the health district go and do testing, HIV, STD, and the hepatitis B shot. We had over 100 people that day. We had Walgreens go and give us free immunizations. It might not seem like a lot for some people, $38 a flu shot when they have six kids, that's a lot of money. So people took advantage of that. We had a panel of speakers, people that are HIV positive. We had people, families that went that had never seen or heard anybody that was HIV positive or with AIDS. So I think to me, those, those events where you can you know, do many things at the same time, offer some services, some free services or reduce cost services, have people uh, you know share their experience and uh, receive feedback from the audience and um, uh, teach you know uh, give out the the story to other people that have never seen it and bring those those groups together to me that's that's uh, an accomplishment and that's one that we did recent the first we're going to be again um, commemorating world aids day at uh, Action Red downtown Maryland and, and uh, Fremont. And again, we're gonna do it the same way, including a little culture. We're gonna have chocolate con pan dulce. We're gonna play loteria. We're gonna have uh, families. We're gonna have people that are HIV and their stories on video. So th those to me are very significant. You know, they're not at a big casino and we don't have 5,000 people attend. But even if it's 100, people that go 200, 150, 50 people, even 25, you know. It's what you get out of, you know, the, these gatherings that's really significant and to me are accomplishments.